peace and love my name is empress gem this is going to be my first initiation video I, i'm gonna call this one knowledge of a novice tarot reading for august leo energy 2016 um we just came through so many portals and gateways and the energy is so heavy especially with what happened with the sister Corinne Gaines, that affected me to my core because that could have been any one of us. And they, the energy of fear is encapsulating the earth and I have to counteract it with love. So this is going to be a love reading. That's what Leo was all about. Leo was all about love, romance, parenthood, child, children, you know, self-love self-confidence and these are all the things that we need and to be domineering you know to be independent and all of those attributes we all need to display at this time so i'm gonna get right into it i used a couple of decks and um i had a little romance in there too but you know this is this is really for to give everybody a strength because we need it bodily <laughs> Oh, so badly. I got my crystals. I got my candles. I got my oils. I got my crown. So I'm ready. All right. Um, the first card that came out was wind. Sorry. It's backwards. Wind. Chrome visionary, which is um, the sword suit. And it has the glyph for Aquarius right on the card. So this... We, gon we are in the age of Aquarius, of, of inner knowing, right? The mind. Put that W, flip it down, it's the mind, right? And this would be the equivalent to the, to the um, King of Swords. So, to me, this is like, this is our time. This is our time for, our, for us to transcend the mind and to take flight. Her, hair, her whole head, she looks like an eagle. She looks like an eagle and she's holding an egg. So this is our time to take flight and be able to use our inner knowing. What we know, when you get that gut feeling, listen to it. Don't ignore it. Don't ignore that gut feeling of when it's the right time to initiate something or the right time to get rid of something, to dash away something, to change something. And this is um, equivalent to the Two of Pentacles in the traditional right away. But this is, this, I love, I love this deck because it's, it's so creative, right? This is um, Jupiter in Capricorn, this card represents, and it's Earth cycles. Hold on, let me put a crystal right here. Hold my phone. Right? And this is, of course, it looks like an eight. Sorry, upside down. Cycles and rhythms, right? As above, so below. As it is in heaven, so it is at earth. So we, 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 a lot of us don't realize that the spiritual realm done been in war for how long already? Already the spirit realm done been battling. So now we are seeing the trickle down effect into the physical. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, we already done. We already done one. We already know who we are. We we already know we come from the cosmos. You know what I'm saying? You see that spiral there. So therefore, they can kill the flesh, but they can never kill the spirit and never kill the soul. That's what we need to remember, right? The next card is the high priestess card. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, I'm loving this reading already. Hold on. She's the high priestess, Isis. Her original name is Arset because now they want to demonize. This is the Greek name. This is her Greek name. And they want to demonize. But that's all right. Y'all can keep that Greek name because that's not her real name. Her real name is Arset. And look at her with the sun disc, with her wings, the divine mother, the mother of all mothers, the high priestess, right? That's, that's two, but it looks like an 11. That's the second card. But that's what 11 boils down to. Sakaya, go in your room, please. Thank you. And then there's the moon glyph. 
as well. Right? So that's using your intuition. You gotta listen. Y'all gotta listen to your gut feelings. You gotta listen to your gut. If you know it's time to leave that job, it's time to leave that job. If it's time for you to start this business, it's time for you to start this business. If it's time for you to detox, it's time to detox. Holistically, all the way around, it's time for change. It's time for us to know we have these powers. Each and every one of us has these powers. And it's time. I seen a billboard um, for Ghostbusters with the sister Leslie and they try to demonize her, call her a monkey and this and that. But on the billboard, it said, answer the call. And it had her beautiful, big, black, big lit face on there. And then it had the glyph for the Ghostbusters, which is what? A white ghost with the no, no sign over with the, with the um, circle and the crossover. So y'all take it for what, what that mean. I know I looked at that like, yeah, it's time for me to answer the call. It's time for me to communicate what I need to communicate from my soul, from my heart, and and to just be free and to be a different, to live a different life, to choose to change, and and that's what we need to do right now. It's not it's not time to get scared. It's not time to fear, and it's not time. It's damn sure ain't time to back down. That's for sure. We gotta use our intuition. We gotta use our gifts and know that our power lies in the spirit. And our ancestors, our gods, our guardian angels, you have to call on them because they they waiting on us. They like we here. We your team, but you ain't you ain't you ain't call us in. What's good? The next part is Pele. The purifier. Come in the purge. Come in the purge. Right? Sacred fire. With our hands. This is um the glyph of is the Sag? No Mars, Mars energy. This is a uh, supposed to be a major arcana, the purifier, sacred fire. Same thing like with the Phoenix. Out with the old, in with the new. All the old stuff, all that. Watching reality shows, all that other, you know, all the stuff that we've been doing, it ain't working for us, man. Stop feeling powerless because we can do it. You just got to change yourself. You just got to purge yourself. Yeah. And, and the flames look like almost like a lotus flower right in her heart too. And we and we in a fire sign. It's the fire season. So we got to be passionate about it. Be passionate about it. Like, you know what? And it don't have to be an angry passion either, especially as a woman. You don't, it don't have to be angry all the time. Yes, we are the warriors, but we are the spiritual warriors too. First and foremost, we are the spiritual warriors, right? So it's time. I know I got my detox lined up. I got the teas. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. At the bottom of the deck, the vibe was. Oh, I gotta read. I'm gonna read this one. I'm gonna read it from the from the um, book, Bridget, Alchemy. Alchemy. Well, people think, oh, turning lead to gold, oh, that's so far removed, oh, that's that's science, that's chemistry, that's this and that. But look, you can, you can, whatever situation you in, you can change it around. That's what the expression comes from when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And even if you're not having no sugar, you don't need no sugar. Just put the lemons in straight water and you're good. Where my lemon water at? Where my lemon water at? Straight up, it's the truth. It's the truth. You was what you got. And then you build off of it. Then you could build up off of it. We got each other. That, that's the two first tool is yourself. That's the first tool is yourself. Then you build off of then we come together and build off one of one another. Let me read that. Hold on. I love this deck. I love it. Hold on, Bridget. Bridget, Bridget. Hold on, let me read Pele first. I see Pele right here. Let me read Pele for y'all. Pele is the Hawaiian goddess of fire who lives on earth, the original divine spark of creation. She is eternal life and creation. 
the goddess of volcanoes. Pele's unquenchable fire is the purifying force that provides balance to the desecration that humans are responsible on earth. They are responsible for on earth. Can you bring my glasses, mama, please? Yeah. See, we we like, well, what we gonna do? We we, we gonna get up our arms, we gonna, we gonna we can't beat them at we can't we can't try to beat them in their game. We gotta use our game plan. And our game plan is using nature, our ancestors. They're gonna come and bring and just wipe everything clean, and we're gonna be the ones left over to rebuild. She's the righteous anger and demands respect for life and the planet. Pele is the mother of the most powerful elemental forces. Through her fierce and unpredictable Mars fire, she lets that which is unknown become known. Pele brings ultimate purification by the fire of destruction and reclam reclamation. She brings the transmutation of old form into new. Her fierce power is feared because it cannot be controlled by human beings. <laughs> Pele is the transformative change that leads to healing and reintegration into wholeness. She is the primal force. When Pele appears, expect the unexpected. Her, pure, her purifying fire often destroys well-laid plans and established comfortable form that no longer serves you. I just said it. She brings the supreme opportunity to align with spirit and come away from attachment to the physical world and the past. Through her dismembering influences and rude awakenings, you are regenerated right down to yourselves. I just said it. I, it just reaffirmed what I just said. It's time. It's time to let, let, let things go that are not serving us. The, the same old routine that we've been going through. Get up, go to work, come back home, cook a meal, watch some TV, and then go to bed. It, it, it's the same old, same old, samey, same. It ain't doing nothing. It ain't, it's not, of course, and then our situation is not going to change. Right? And then it said transformative, right? Right? And then let me read this alchemy. Transformative energy. Bridget. Bridget, the great mother goddess of Ireland, is the Celtic goddess of fire. Oh, so again, we got that element of fire, right? Leo energy, she brings healing, inspiration, and divination. The powerful alchemy that is the dynamic combination of forces. Poetry, music, art, and metalsmithing are her gifts to the world. She's the goddess of herbal healing, born with a flame ascending from her head, eternally connected to the universe. She is the divine creative spark the perfect synergy and alchemy of ideas and forces that coalesce into art and beauty. Bridget is cloaked in her power, standing over a boiling cauldron of creativity, generating fertility and new life. She brings the Sagittarius fire of insight and regeneration and communication with the spirit world. Through her hands, the beauty of artistic creation comes to earth in blessing and wisdom. Bridget inspires you to find your own divine creative spark of inspiration and let it blend in alchemy with the creative force to manifest the power of beauty in your world. She assures the success of your creative attempts, inspiring you to succeed as the artist you truly are. Yes. Fire energy. What are you passionate about? What do what you get excited about when you think about it? What do you get excited about? There's a few things, but I'm not going to go there right now. <laughs> right? I get passionate. This is what this is what I get passionate about. This is what I do all the time for myself. I go into, into my um, spiritual union, you know, because, yes, the beloveds all over the world are waking up and are reconnecting. And I know, I know, I'm not going to go, I'm, I'm not going to go there yet with my beloved, but, um. It's helped me on my spiritual journey. And ever since I got my illustrious crystal, this is my illustrious crystal that I got from Ross Ben, a beautiful, humble, noble brother. He, he's the author of The Rock of Ages. Y'all got to get that book. He told me, he said, listen, this crystal here will align you with your life purpose, your life's mission, your soul's mission for this time. So you got to be ready. You gotta be ready for it. And I was like, I'm ready, I'm ready. And 
I'm telling you, a week after that, I kicked off my business. The following week, I crossed paths with my beloved. Week after that, I had a spiritual epiphany. I found out I was an empath. I mean, the list goes on. Astral traveling, everything in my dreams. I didn't know I was, I've been astral traveling, but I didn't know that that's what that, well, I'm just thinking it was just lucid dreaming. And then taking control, being able to take control and like, all right, this is a past life, you know, all right, I'm going to take control now. You know what I'm saying? Even in so-called nightmares, I was able to take control and get the message that was needed to, that was um being um, relayed to me from spirit. This is a powerful crystal. If you're ready for spirit, get it. Check Ross Ben. Okay. Trustworthy friends. This came out. This is a new deck that I got that I love oh so much. Angel prayers. Trustworthy friends. It's time. It's time to link with your tribe. It's time. Not the fake ones. Not the fake ones. Don't cling onto people or allow people to cling onto you and you know that they not real and they not true to this. Point blank period. We ain't got time no more. You know what I'm saying? You know your tribe. You know, and the thing about it is your tribe is going to hold you accountable for your responsibility for, for the community, for the nation, for your family, for your community. And you have, and, and that's the thing. We see, we may see our tribe, but we be intimidated like, oh, she going to hold me accountable. Hold on. She ain't going to just let me, she ain't going to just go with me to the club. And everything gonna be the same, the same. You understand what I'm saying? It's time. It's time to link with your tribe. People that's gonna hold you um, accountable for your actions. Who's gonna question it? Like, listen, since you can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't be doing that. Come on, listen. Let's do this. Let's do that. Come on. Instead of picking up that, let's go do this. What's good? Let's try this detox. Leave that chicken alone. Leave that chicken alone. And 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 you know, in New York with the EPT. You can't get fish and, and, and beef no more, right? So what, what poor people gonna have to do? They gonna they probably gonna go to the chicken and then what they gonna be doing with the chicken, what they've been doing, poisoning. So it's time to leave those things alone. Hold on, let me read that. Trust for thank you, angels, for surrounding me with people I can trust and love. Hold on with that for that. Trust I'm I'm open. Hold on. <laughs> Yes, I'm going to post this one. I done been doing this for how long? Practicing, practicing, you know, getting my legs, see legs worthy. Okay. The friends you spend time with are without a doubt trustworthy when you pick this card. You are surrounded by many earth angels and souls who have your best interests at heart. The people who make you smile, laugh, and cry are the souls who will be with you throughout your journey. And you are being encouraged to enjoy spending time with the friends you have in this lifetime because you have so much in common. And as you have fun with your friends, the angels will join in and enjoy themselves too. I know that's right. You may have felt a little left out recently and unsure who is being real in your life. I feel that one. Don't concern yourself about it. The angels are here to help you. By surrendering any friendship issues or worries you have to them, you will allow a source of love to guide you to the peace you deserve. The angels will help you see, realize, and know who really is on the same vibration as you so that you can truly enjoy your social time. If you feel that you don't know who your friends are, follow the prayer on this card and the angels will direct you to those who will support you and allow you to support them. Friendship means balance and it is blessed to support and it is as blessed to support as it is to be supported. Right. Right. So it's not, not just who, who's um, good for you, but what about what you doing for other people? You understand what I'm saying? What love, what you bring into the table as well. And I just want to, um, trustworthy friends, also this card too from my Sacred Rebel deck came out, Conscious Connections. This also deals with friendship. I'll read that later on, but I just want to show the synchronicity. And and you see too, that's a man and a woman, right? This will also this is how a relationships are supposed to start. You're supposed to be friends, not just friends with benefits. Okay? You're supposed to get to know each other, be friends, be able to laugh, joke, cry, 
and and be able and that's how you build up the trust you understand what i'm saying and once you got that trust the chemistry is is is, is going to be off the chain see we we deal with hormones off the bat we deal with oh oh he look good she look good and but there's no there's no foundation we got that's why the twin flames is waking up too because it's time to bring in the new paradigm and new reality of unconditional love not this situation shit crap that we've been going through that we've been doing it's not working it's not working it's not working anymore so these are these are the things that we need to bring in balance masculine and feminine energy trustworthy friends you know what i'm saying get your tribe up get your tribe up so when things go when things go down you know who to go to you know who to go to. You know where to go. You ain't even got to worry about it. You know you got a night to stay. You, you got a place to stay for the night if need be. You understand what I'm saying? We don't even want to open the, We don't even want to answer the phone like, oh, she told What she want? She want something. You know, I'm guilty as well. Okay? I'm not above reproach at all. Okay, let me see how I'm going to do. Where's the book for this? Okay. The next card? No. This card had me dying when I first... I did a, like a little video on, on a review when I first opened this up. Oh, I didn't even light my sage. Hold on. I'm bugging. It's because I'm... It's, I am a little... I ain't going to front. I'm a little rushed because I do have to go punch that clock later on. But it's all good. Because I'm, I'm still doing the spirit work because I, I deal with helping others in the health field, you know. And to me, pushing them pill pop, pushing them pills ain't all that. Thank you, my ancestors, my gods, my angels, my higher self. Blow it. Okay. All right. Yes, now we got we got the vibes flowing. I love Palo Santo. We can't watch TV Molly. Listen, all right, tell I you y'all do that all the time. Do something. Go get your book. Write me, write me a poem, Mama. Can you please write me a poem? You haven't wrote me a poem in a while. So get a pencil. There's plenty of pencils around. Okay. Um, what's that up to? Yeah, I might post that little review that I did for this deck called Angel Prayers by Kyle Gray. Come on, they don't want to come off the table. Now, I said, wait. I said, who he look like? <laughs> he remind me of Prince. Straight up, the divine physician, Archangel Raphael. And I got a reading. I was told that um, he was one of my angels. Thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. It's time. It's time to get fit. It's time to get fit in the Gideon. It's time. It's time. Let me read him. Hold on. The divine physician. It's time. Divine. Okay. Your angels can see that you need a boost of light and energy at this time. Together with Archangel Raphael, they are filling your body, mind, and soul with healing energy. So take so take some time out to care for your whole being. Close your eyes and allow Archangel Raphael and the angels to place their hands upon you. You are blessed to receive this card today because healing is being brought to you on all levels accepted. Healing doesn't begin in the body. It begins in the mind and the soul. Pull up. Healing does not begin in the body. It begins in the mind and the soul. It isn't your body that determines how you, how you feel, but your mind that determines what state your body is in. Think healing positive thoughts at this time and be grateful for what's good about your body and your health. As you recognize the health benefits you already have, more will be brought to you. You may well find that the healing angels are also here to help you heal others. But in order to do this, you must ensure that you yourself are in good health. So heal within. Then share what you've learned with the world. Raphael's name means God heals. And he is the archangel of health and healing. With his emerald aura, he has the ability to both heal and us and help us heal ourselves he carries a caduceus wand as a symbol of his divine healing abilities 
He is the, the doctor of God and will bring healing to all those who call upon him. This right here, it brought up so many things. Hold on. Let me go back to place their hands upon you, which is so true. If you feel like you ain't hungry, don't force yourself to eat. Why are you forcing yourself to eat? Or if people offer you something like, here, yeah, you want something? I'm like, no, you know what? No, thank you. you. Sure, take a piece. Take it, take it. Like, if you're not hungry, don't eat. Don't eat. Don't force that on your body. Like, right now, it's summertime. This is my smoothie I made. I'm good. I had a little nachos, guacamole nachos earlier. I'm good. And I'm seeing a difference. I'm not even working out. And I'm seeing a difference. And it's because I changed my mind. I'm tired. I was like, oh, I can't stand my body. I, I wish I could get a mommy makeover. I ain't got that kind of money. It's all good. Because I'm going to soon make time to start working out and all that. And I'm going to get my groove back. Matter of fact, my groove just going to shine brighter. Because I, I ain't never lose the groove. <laughs> right? So... He, this is, and green is what? The heart. The heart. Clearing your heart. Clearing your heart of all the shields and the walls that you put up. That goes again with the trustworthy friends is right next to it. Clear your heart. Break down those walls. Show love. Stop. We, we afraid to show each other love because we done been backstabbing each other for so long. Stop. It's time. It's time for us to be like, good morning. Coming to walk into an elevator. Good morning. How y'all doing? All right. See, in Harlem, it's a little different. Like in the Bronx, forget it. You, you don't get no love. You don't get no love, Bridget. Uptown, anyway. And then this is my girl, right? They changed her. Before, she had a yellow head wrap before i got her on my instagram page but she's still beautiful it doesn't matter she's still melanated i'm sorry my video quality is garbage peaceful warrior ariel thank you ariel for helping me stand my ground and again it's sunny she has a sunny disposition yellow solar plexus your will your determination your drive once you realize like all right it's time that's that's what's going to prepare you and and right above it is a pele card so again it's that fire energy it's what's going to propel you it's what's going to drive you to what what was under the deck to make that leap of faith it's time for us to make this leap of faith and get in contact with the cosmos because if the mother shit come i'm getting on i'm off here and then oh right underneath that is what orion Orion manifesting miracles. I'm out here, Bridget. I know I am. Me, my babies. I'm. We getting out here. However that, however it may come. If it, if it's a physical shit, if it's a spiritual shit, however it come. We gotta, we gotta stop with this closed-minded thinking, man, and this narrow-minded thinking, man. I'm ready to take a leap, angels. Thank you for doing it with me. We, we, we forget. I remember um, I was listening to Bobby, either Bobby or brother on um, Panic. And it's like we all have at least, at least two guardian angels. And there's even an episode on um the old school Twilight. And then there was his guardian angel. He's like, I'm your angel. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's like, what? That don't exist. They do. And I seen one of mine. He came to me in a vision. Um. Yes, Twilight Journal. Peaceful. Why well, keep using the book? Let's see. Peaceful Warrior. I may not read all of these. Um, let me just see. Peaceful Warrior, and that don't mean, and and then too. Like I said, we as the women, we are the spirit warriors. There's some brothers that are too, but we, cap. We are the spiritual warriors. And we have lost our power. We have lost our way for so long. We are not even in tune with the earth. We're not in tune with the elements. That's our power. We have to cleanse our earth. We have to put our menstrual blood back in the earth, y'all. Yo, don't be afraid. Don't think it's evil. Don't think it's... Get rid of that program that they've been telling you. Do these things. Try it. 
try just try it what what is it what hurt is it gonna do try it put a rag take the rag soak it in a pail of water you understand preferably rain water if possible and then pour it back into the earth and you just give thanks like you know this is my little sacrifice. it comes out every month it ain't, it's not like you cut your feet hey sacrifice that peaceful warrior I had to get rid of my deconditioning raised as a Jehovah Witness. That's going to be a bill and a half. About that. Okay, the angels want you to know that you are a warrior soul and that your heart is so pure and light filled that you deserve only peace for yourself and those around you. You may find your peace being challenged, however, and be unsure how to react. React. You are being called upon the Archangel Ariel and the angels to know that there is true strength in holding things together and sending everyone around you, especially the challenges, peaceful thoughts, and blessings. That's really hard. Um, you have a voice and the angels know you're not afraid to use it. Take time right now to figure out the most peaceful and loving state of being you can remain in. If you feel that you have a reason to stand up to someone or something, that is challenging you, your angels are here to say that you have the courage and conviction to do so, but ensure you are coming from a positive space and aren't dropping down to the fear-based level you may be up against. Let me read that again. Your angels are here to say that you have the courage and conviction to do so, but ensure you are coming from a positive space and aren't dropping down into the fear-based level you may be up against. Take time to ask yourself, if you'd rather be happy and walk away or be right and prove a point, will it have any benefit for the person or just your ego? Think peace and be peace and be peace. Wow. Be happy and walk away. But not walk away is letting it slide. Meaning, meaning, going back to the drawing board. Walking away at that point in time and, and going back to the drawing board. Like, all right, you got that one. Now, I'm going to do what I know I need to do. That's all right. I don't have to prove that I'm, I'm the superior one to you. That's just, yeah, it's short because I already know who I am. When you already know who you are, you don't have to prove to, and especially when they are the inferior ones, you don't have to prove to them nothing. You keep doing your works and being who you are and standing in your power. Yeah. Ariel means lioness of God. Leo, lioness. And she is a true warrior spirited angel who has a strong connection to the animal realm. She is here to help us have peace in our heart with regard to other people and the animal kingdom too. She helped us look after those we love and find the strength to keep things going when times are challenging. She brings to you today the courage and poise of a lion. Say more. <laughs> Do I have to say more? Okay, I put a little romance in here too. And I put, well, these popped out and it just resonated. And I was like, yeah. And I'm sorry it's backwards. I don't know. But I'm like, yeah, trust the chemistry. Trust the chemistry. Like I said, trustworthy friends that came out, conscious connections. 35, which is 8, right? We got we got this, the cycles and rhythms right here, looking like an 8. 8 is abundance. 8 is prosperity. 8 is a straight spirit number. 8 is absolute truth, universal truth, right? So this situation is calling for you to have faith. And again, like I said, the bottom of this deck was deep of faith, Right? But that don't mean to just trust anybody. Because that sister had a brother, the sister Gaines. She had a brother there, but he he wasn't standing his ground. He didn't stand his ground. 
And um, and she was even having issues with that brother. They said it was a domestic violence. And that's the thing, too. It's like, come on. Like, that, that divides us even more. When we give them ammunition, when we either arguing and fighting in the house, and, and sometimes it may not be us that call the cops. It be the neighbors that call the cops on your ass. And they looking to, to fill their quotas. They're going to take somebody. I had that personal experience of being taken. Oh, man. And from then, I never trusted them. Never. Okay? So, yes, you have to trust and have faith. In, but you have to pick the right partner, though. Point blank, period. You have to be present. You have to build that foundation of friendship. And while y'all building that foundation of friendship, you see whether or not they are worthy enough to be trusted with your chemistry, with your alchemy. So that way, together, y'all can create that alchemy. Together, y'all be able to change that letter to go. Together. And then, I don't know if y'all can see. Yeah, he's like, yeah, baby. She's like, really? Like, hold that. Like, okay. And that's the energy. All right, you hold it there. All right. And then that, I'll spiral it this way. And yeah. And y'all work together. You understand? To, and um, I don't know, the colors, right? It's just making me think about um, blood vessels, you know, in the body and going to and from the heart, right? Arteries is oxygenated, veins is blue, is deoxygenated. So it's a balance. It's a balance. <sighs> There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yes, we can't do it without each other. We can't. We can't. We need each other. We need each other to be on point. That's why holistically, holistically, we have to start. We have to clear out our mind, our bodies, and our souls. So that way we can get with the right person. And then we won't have these issues. And they cannot divide us and separate us. Point blank. What? Period. These are our tools. I even got my homemade Florida water over here. Smelling good. These are our sacred tools, man. And a lot of people's like, ah, oh, that's that mumbo jumbo. That's that obio. That's that this, that's that that. Judging when you ain't never pick up a book, ain't never study, ain't never even experimented. Ain't never put a crystal under your pillow. Ain't get ain't never have no talisman medallion aid for you. Okay? These are our sacred tools. These are the things that we use to protect ourselves, man. Why? Because we in tune with all of the elements. Right at the bottom of the deck was what? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. By being yourself. Being your true self. Trust that you can be your true self. And if you can't be your true self with them, then they can kick rocks. Not these rocks. Not <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's the truth. I mean, this is this is what we're going through right now. Like, it's time. It, it starts with yourself. Then it starts with your partner. Right? Then, then it goes to the family. Then it goes to the community and then the nation. That's the only way we're going to build ourselves up. Period. Then I love this. This is my chakra deck. I love this. I pulled two cards. Perfection. These are deep. Recovery. Right? That recovery of one perfect love, man. With all things. All things. Including the animals. Yo, they doing the animals dirty, man. If you watch certain documentaries, like, um, what's it called? Food Inc. is one of them. I'm sorry. What they, what they, I, feel, I felt it personally, what they do with the cows and with the milk. How they keep them in a state of pregnancy. Keep them pregnant. Keep raping them. They're raped. These cows are raped. Raped their whole lives. So that they, their breasts could be filled with milk. And as a mother, you know that feeling. 
They don't care if it's engorged. They don't care that if it's cut, if the other is cut or bleeding. They keep those things suction on them all the time. There's infection. I mean, and then you're drinking that. There's pus. Oh, man. It, it really made me open my eyes and it made me put it like, how would I feel if I was raped constantly to be pregnant in order just to get my milk? Not even just for the, for the progeny, but for my milk, just for my milk. Sorry, that was a person rant. Um, perfection, righteous raspberry. That's, that's the root chakra. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me read the basis for it. Right, right, is grounding, passionate, sexual, vital, forceful energy. Perfection. This card indicates protection and an inner conflict between wanting to look good and having compassion for others. Remain kind and unattached to an outcome. Being right and letting others know that you are right may not support the understanding you desire. Which card did I say that was peaceful warrior when it said about being right? What did it say? So the same thing. Would you rather be right and get your point across or walk away and you know you right without trying to and, and, and have your soul at peace? I have the same high standards for myself as I have for others. Raspberry needs no makeup. How to accentuate her exquisite features? Oh, no makeup, boo. But but she wears it anyway. She is a perfectionist. She speaks the truth at all times, believing that she is helping others by sharing her truth. While statements such as your child is overweight are honest, they make others avoid her. Lonely, she seeks the advice of her favorite elderberry, who teaches her that honesty without kindness is cruelty. Her new vulnerability allows her to see the beauty in others as well as in herself. Are you being too hard on yourself and consequently on others? Begin to look for what's right and good in your world, and you will see it. Where am I presently focus, focusing? Knowing what's right and telling others about it may not be the best way of being. Mm. Hold on. A thought just came to my mind. Alienating others, feeling alienated, seeking perfection, deeply desiring love, transformation ahead. Uniqueness, that's one of my words. Friendship, acceptance. Wow. All of these, all of this, this whole reading is synchronistic. All the cards just link up together. Right? Knowing that you're right. Now, like, and also with a lot of us that do know our rights and do know our history and know who we are, right? Those knuckleheads. They don't have that knowledge. They're just hired guns. That's all they are. So you trying to spit them out, they they not they don't know none of that. They don't know any of that. They don't want to hear none of that. Oh, tell that to the judge. Tell that to the such and such and such. As. They're, they're hired goons, B. That's all they are. So how you fight that? Is you like, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them. I'm going to use the pen. I'm going to use the... We have to be able to use those tools to fight this battle. Not saying you not, not saying you can't physically be protected. But what I'm saying is that you have to make sure you use what? Your mind. The mind. First. That was the first card. Right? Uniqueness, friendship, again, again, and I'm like, listen, stop spending two hundred dollars on bundles. I mean, I'm sorry, I've I've had my weave, I'm not hating. I had a wig, not too long ago, over my locks and all that. When I feel when I feel like the need to be another another aspect of myself, ain't nothing wrong with that. But when we spending our last dollars on that. And you ain't got no plants in your house. No plants. You don't have no disaster preparedness bag ready in your house. But your face is beat. Something's wrong with that. Something's wrong with that. 
We forgetting that we are imbued with that inner beauty. We're forgetting that sweet, sweetness. Look at that. Raspberry. Come on, y'all. It's time. Recovery. And um, of course, this is the Ajna. This is purple. Let me go over to that section. It's time. You know what I'm saying? I mean, get you one good wig. You feel me? Get you, and then you gotta be careful. Some of them things be having lights in there and all that. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. It's, it's the time to get real now. It's time. It's time to live simplest. Be this technology is not gonna be around forever. I'm sorry. The Earth has been here forever. All of this technology is not gonna be here forever. We're gonna have to get back on upon the donkey. All right. You understand me? <laughs> Recovery. The lilac key. Lilac offers detachment as you allow yourself to see the big picture. What once may have been immaturity is now about growing into new partnership with spirit. Step back and allow the angels to bring him to you. Hold on. Recovery. Pain from our past unlocks the door of understanding. Greta wakes to find painful childhood memories all over her room. In the distance appears a huge wooden door with white light streaming through the keyhole. As Greta tries to gather up her painful memories, they melt and form the great lilac key. She places the key in the lock and a wave of fear engulfs her. The door opens and the pain and fear recede. Clarity comes. Survival is no longer enough. Once the key, the key has been used to open the door, you will have a new way of living. One without keys. Where you are heading, there are no locks. It is time to recover a part of me that has been dormant. Am I ready to live an inspired future? Facing fears. Wounding is strength. Courage to face pain. Awakening greatness. Genuineness, which is what? Uniqueness. Regeneration. Understanding. Facing your fears. It's time to get real with yourself it's time to get real with yourself it's stop pointing fingers at other people blaming other people blaming your baby father blaming your baby mother them blaming everybody else blaming your boss so-called boss blaming this one blaming that one blaming your children it's time to open it. me included it's time for you to stop Pointing the energy and the direction and the blame and placing blame on others. Okay, take responsibility. Remember I was saying about finding your tribe, they're going to hold you responsible and accountable for, for you to play your part. But you got to you gotta go through pain. You got to heal all your childhood issues. The, this is the key. These are the answers. This is your true salvation. It is what it is. It is what it is. This is the only way we gonna get free, y'all. Get free. DP. This is it. That's the key. Self-recovery. Self-discovery. Facing the fears. Stop being fearful. All right, this is going long. Hold on. All right, let me just get to this. because This one is going to be long. Conscious Connections. This is like the basis. I love the sacred rebel deck. It is so uplifting, so beautiful. And it just seals everything up. It usually seals up the whole reading. And then this is at the bottom of the deck. Shot of the new. And then it also says once you get rid of that fear, once you get rid of or you heal your pain, it's, it's the discovery of a whole new life, a whole new way of being. I said that in the beginning too. It's a whole, it's a whole new way of being that we have to come into. Shock of the new. I'm going to read. Hopefully I have enough time. But this is conscious connections. There is a call for more intimacy in your immediate relationships. There is an opening for heart to heart communication that can salvage and restore broken relationship or friendship. If you're willing to honor your differences and look to what unites you. Sometimes it's hard to bear the differences between one another. One person may be willing to live life in high definition, while others may prefer to live it more vicariously until they have the confidence to step onto the center stage of their own life story. We are not here to judge each other, 
just to love, to be loved, and to let go of those that cannot accept us as we open up to those who can. This oracle brings guidance for you to trust in the sanctity of the connections in your life. You have, If you have asked to experience a more sacred connection with people who truly get you and want to play life with you, rather than at odds with or against you, then this oracle is confirmation that this manifestation is on its way to you now. It may or may not be obvious at first, but kindred spirits are going to enter your life to help you connect with your deeper feelings and creativity. They will give wings to your inspirational ideas and big dreams. If you have been asking for healing in your current friendships or other immediate relationships, know that this can happen through your willingness to express your true feelings, being yourself, and allow the situation to either fall apart or come together according to the greater workings of life. Sometimes webs that have joined people together are broken and that is appropriate as people may outgrow what once held them together. Sometimes the ties that bind us together are so strong that they are able to withstand a great deal of pressure and still remain intact. The webs of connection between us will sever or sustain based on the higher wisdom of life itself. Either way, healing happens in the resolution of our feelings, and we are once again able to feel free, forgive, and be ready to move on to the next stage of relating either with a person who has been in connection with us or for a time or, or with someone new. I'm going to pause real quick. This, this just seals up the whole reading. What I was saying, trustworthy friends, your tribe. Sometimes it's time to let go. Let go of the people that still want to be stuck, that just want to sit on the corner, that just want to let them. It's all right. Let them do that. That's cool. If you feel the urge for change, for something different, do that. Walk the lonely path for a minute and know that your tribe is coming. This oracle asks you to remain open to healing connections and to allow people to be close to you. Trust in the process that draws people in and out of your life. Resist nothing and seek wisdom in all. Okay, this is the healing process. With your hand on your heart, lavender, right? I surrender all my relationships into unconditional love. And ask that the truly nourishing, soul enriching, expansive, and nourishing relationships be healed and drawn closer to my heart. I ask that the draining, depleting, destructive, or toxic relationships be drawn out of my life. Through unconditional love, mercy, grace, and my own free will, so be it. Imagine that you breathe golden light in through the front of your body and out through the back of your body. Repeat the process with a rich emerald green light. Don't worry if you can't feel or see the light. Just intend to work with the light and relax. Finally, visualize, perceive, or see a beautiful beating heart with luminous green and gold parrot wings on either side of it. Imagine, perceive, or feel that there are many other beautiful beating hearts with parrot wings of different colors, and they are all flying around together. Enjoy the playfulness of this vision and in your own time. Come back to the here and now. Feel the air in your skin. Notice the temperature of the room. Yep. Point blank. <laughs> Period. It's time. It's time for us to tribe up. And then once we have our tribes together, then the tribes can unite collectively. We can't move as islands no more. That's the problem. We move in by ourselves too much. Because we're afraid that we're going to be judged. We afraid that we not perfect enough. That we we gotta be, you know, part of the clique. We gotta fit in. Nah, nah. Spirit will bring when, when you once you become in tune with spirit, they're gonna bring your tribe to you. The universe always fills a void. Always. Always. Just know that you are never alone. I'm gonna read a shock of the new. This one never came up for me before. I love this deck. It's so expressive. I love it. 
What wild, unconventional voice is calling to you? Can you hear it? Is it so different and so unusual it might be hard to decipher, like hearing an unfamiliar language for the first time? It might be hard to discern with great clarity now, but there is an affinity between you and this strangely beautiful newness seeking to manifest. This article says there is a stirring at the deepest levels within you. Something new will break through and the process of this birth may be a shock to you. The shock will transform into great joy and a sense of tremendous liberation. But you must bear the strangeness first. Sakaya, that strangeness might be something that rattles your beliefs about yourself and your world. Daring you to become more of yourself more open to where life is leading you and more willing to be the unique sacred art being crafted by the hands of the universal creator nature never shies away from strange beauty she allows for endless diversity and her sacred works are often peculiar and stunning you live within her field of creative grace as a specially created work that also creates you are being asked to surrender any fear you may have of being seen as exotic, unusual, eccentric, or bizarre. Don't business about what them people are call you. They try, they try it at work. Oh, she's one of those, those Afro punks. She's one of those. I said, you can't class me, baby. Don't try. You can't, you can't label me. Sorry. You can't. You are being asked to make peace with strange beauty. And this one says, she looked beautiful without makeup. But she put it on anyway. Hey. And let it happen through you in creative flow. Perhaps you need to allow your conventional ideas of beauty to become even more inspired and open. Perhaps you will allow your need for the world to behave according to your fixed ideas to fall away. You will receive so much more in its place. This oracle comes with a special message for you. There are rumblings and stirrings of creative life force. Life happening now deep in the undercurrents of your being. If you are very attuned or sensitive, you may have consciously felt this already with excitement, discomfort, or both. <laughs> if you have not yet sensed the inner stirrings, they are happening all the same. So be on the lookout for the big shift of new birth, the shock of the new, the unconventional, the strangely beautiful, and the disturbing liberation of that which is foreign stepping into your life this is life creating the stage upon which you will experience greater fulfillment don't be nervous if the rumble of change turns into a mighty roar that rocks boats bursts forth as novel ideas and changes things in a way that is out of your control this is life happening feel all right free fall into it the sacred of the shock of the new comes to you saying the old way is on its way out. You are being invited, dragged, nurtured, and coerced into the new. You can handle it. This oracle brings you guidance. You are about to encounter something new and different in your life. This is helpful. Don't reject it, no matter how small or insignificant, or how powerful and life-changing it may be. You are being asked. To dispense with your reliance on the past and what have been your tools to navigate life you have outgrown your old methods you will have to fly by the seat of your pants so to speak as you experiment that's my word with new ways to be life will show you the way if you can't allow yourself this is the healing process if you can't allow yourself to feel as though you are being soft and gentle in your mind, heart, and body, breathe easily, relax. Imagine the strangest and most, most beautiful creature you can. Bring it to life with color and texture. Envision the eyes, the body, the wings, the fur, the feathers. How bizarre can you get? What are its qualities, powers, and characteristics? Be playful with the process. If you find it difficult to visualize, you may like to write a description of your strange and beautiful creature or simply imagine what it would feel like. Wow. It's true. It's the same thing for ourselves. We can imagine like what we want for ourselves. 
Oh man, this is right here. I mean, so this card right here, I think it's speaking directly to me too because this is my first first video, and I'm I'm definitely gonna post this because this is something I I never thought that I would do or have the courage to do. This I was started doing it for myself, and then I saw that you know it was synchronistic to me. It's something that I like to do, and again, my illustrious always brings it to me. So I am so grateful right now, and and. I'm charged. I'm not going to lie. So I'm good. I don't need no coffee. I had drank coffee the other day and I nearly had a heart attack. My body, you got to listen to your body. You got to listen. If it say you don't need no coffee, Regin, 